Hi friends, uh, thanks so much for being here and welcome back because I've been gone for a while. I wanted some time for myself and not have the pressure of YouTube, even though it's for fun. You still kind of feel a pressure to keep making videos and um, be interesting for people, that kind of stuff. Anyways, I took a little break. I'm back. I feel good. And I have a lot to share with you guys. I am super, super excited to be back. And because it's been a while, I wanted to do something that I'm familiar with. Uh, so that is definitely an unboxing because that's kind of how I started this channel by doing book unboxings and magical unboxings. So today is a double magical unboxing. You have probably already seen these because I am a very, very late. First of all, because I was on a break. And second, because after my break, I was on a holiday for two weeks. I went to Universal and Disney. Videos are coming. But then the box is piled up. It is the potions box from the Wizarding Trunk. And the... Oh, this one is heavy. The Weasley's box from the Wizarding Trunk. So it's going to be a battle between the special edition box, which is a quarterly box, and then the bi-monthly regular box. I'm excited to see which one of these I like better. I'm going to start with the bi-monthly box because I feel like these are a little less special than the special edition boxes. But before I'm gonna grab the first item of this box, I wanna say thank you to my patrons because yes, I do still have some of them. They just, they stick around. You guys are the best. I cannot thank you enough for your support, your ongoing support. Thank you so much. And if you feel like it's something for you, then definitely come join us. I promise I won't go away again. Um, you can click on uh, the link in my description or go to patreon.com and type in my name, Leanna Brooks. And I also got a discount code for you guys. I will leave it in the description box. Love the new presentation. It says here, up to no good. And then it says first class owl post. I shall not tell lies. It is a fragile magical delivery. Let's take the first look. Ooh, I love the sides. Let us see. We have a t-shirt on top. Oh, I could have worn this, a universal. And some boxes. And I'm going to grab the first item, which is this t-shirt. So it says a potions club and it has a little calder with a rune on there. It's a short sleeve t-shirt. It's very soft and way too to see the back. It's, it's basically the same with some bottles added, but just bigger. I am not too sure how I feel about this huge print on the back. I think I would have maybe preferred it like a little smaller or just have little bottles at the back in different places. I do still like it though, especially the color. I love the color green and I think the one that they used is a very good one. And I do like the font and the design. I'm, I'm gonna say it's a good t-shirt. Not a great one, but a good one. Also, it's very soft. I like soft t-shirts. Good start to the box. Let's go over something in bubble wrap. We have a little tube and the label reads Calming Draught number two. It's a product uh, of Alchemy for the Skin and that probably means it's usable. So looking at the label, I would say it's something you can pour in your bath. And it has sea salt, hibiscus, lavender, pink Himalayan salt, rose petals, and calendula flowers. Pretty sure it's something you can use for your bath. So that is cute. Let's go for this box. There is something here and then a bottle and then another little bottle with a label that reads Jilly Tonic. And then this, pebbles, and kind of something that looks like gillyweed. Is this like a do-it-yourself potion? <laughs> That's a really fun idea, to just give you the ingredients so you can make your own potion, because that's what potions class is all about. Good one, good one, Wizarding Trunk. Let's go for another small bottle. This is Armadillo Bile, Orange Blossoms, 
squeezable wax melt. Interesting, I've never seen this before. A squeezable wax melt. And it does really smell like oranges. As always, we have got a key. Oh, it's a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. Maybe that's because this is the bi-monthly box and not the special edition box, but I normally get bigger keys. It has the initials P.S. I don't know if that stands for Professor Snape or Potion. And then the bottom half is Liquid Luck. Oh, the top half is a cauldron. I love that they made the Liquid Luck yellow. I haven't seen that yet on a key. They normally have like one color. So I like that this is a little bit different. It's not double-sided this time, but there is a little hole at the top so you can just hang it up. Ooh, you can just hang it up somewhere. And then we also have a pin. Ooh, it's a Draught of Living Death Potion and it's very, very purple. I love that color, so that's fine by me. There's a screaming skull inside the potion and there's a little label that says Living Death. That's a really beautiful pin. I really like this one. The next up is a little box that says Bone Regen. Galley Pots Apothecary. It lists the ingredients on the side. And when we open it up, ah, they made it look like Skelligro, which I appreciate. It's, it's like their own take on it. Bone Regen. I love the rib cage being the bottle. And a little cork on top of his head. I like it. It's creepy cute. And I also really like the packaging that it came in. So definitely something I am going to hold on to. Let's go for the paper items now because there are always some paper items in each Wizarding Trunk box. So first of all, we got this very realistic print and it looks like a table at potions class. So we've got a book, maybe advanced potion making, some ingredients, and then of course a cauldron with green smoke coming out of it. I'm guessing they made this with digital art. I feel like I have got so many prints that I'm only going to keep like the very best. I have to say, if this was my first box ever, I would have loved this. And we also got a page from a potions book because it says preparation of wolfsbane potion. The wolfsbane potion is extremely difficult to brew, which relieves the symptoms of werewolfism or lycanthropy. One dose must be taken each day for the week leading up to the full moon. And then it has like a step for step instruction on how to make it. Okay, let's go for another small box. This one says black lacewing flies. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared to see what is inside. Oh, yeah. There are these little like flies that are in this box. It reminds me of this game I had when I was a kid. I think it was like catch the fly and then you would throw a dice. There would be a fly in the middle and if you threw the fly on the dice, it had different insects on there. You had to like catch it with a net. Such a weird game <laughs> that I think about it. And they kind of remind me of, of that. So there are eight flies in this box. <laughs> I like the box. I do not like the content of the box. Then we've got this one, which is pretty big. Guessing it's another bottle. So we have two components, this and a little cauldron, which is a black cauldron. And I think you can hang the cauldron on there. That is so freaking cute. Is this something you can use for your like wax melt that you put a little candle here and then you can melt it here? Or like chocolate that you can, is that, is it made for that? I like that, that is very original and it looks like good quality. That's a good item, that's a great, great item. And I believe this is the final item in this box and it says brass scale. That's cool. Again, the box, all the packaging is just so lovely because it really makes you feel like you are in a potions class. It's really immersive. Oh my gosh. Is this actually a scale? So how do I do this? Oh, that is adorable. I don't know how else to explain it. That is magical and adorable. And they added five little weights that you can just like put on your scale 
well obviously this is like way too heavy for it but if we maybe put like I mean look at that it looks a little bit weathered but I'm pretty sure that's like how it's meant to look I love it that is that is amazing that's an amazing idea to put in a potion class box and the weights even have little numbers on there so that was everything in the potions class box and uh, per usual the spoiler card is also a paper item because at this side it says preparation of jelly tonic all right it's the instruction on the little like make your own potion sets i love that that is so so nice that's such a good idea welcome to potion class students the jelly tonic recipe for the potion you'll be making today is on the back of this card let's get the class started and brew greatness we got a total of 13 items this box is going to be hard to top let's see if i missed anything oh right the squeezable wax is supposed to go in the cauldron okay i, I was a little bit over the top with the melting chocolate and stuff but still it it has a function. The calming draught is a bath potion. And then I see that there's one thing missing in my box because it says there's a portrait pin. Yep, I missed it. I really like this representation of Snape. And I love that they went with a black frame instead of a golden frame or a brass one. And then the backing card is the dungeon. The professor we love to hate is going on the pin banner. Not gonna lie, I really like this box and I think it's going to be hard to top this one. This favorite item is probably the print uh, because I don't know if I'm going to use it. But as I said, if I didn't already have like 20 prints on my wall, I would have loved this. And then my favorite one. Oh my gosh, there are so many favorites. I don't know what to choose. Like I, I loved a lot of these items. But if you're thinking about like being original, oh, hello, brass scales. <laughs> That's amazing. So. That's going to be my favorite item, but as I said, I liked a lot of items. Okay, let's go for box number two. So this is the special edition box and it is all about the Weasleys, our favorite wizarding family. It's got all the stamps on there and it even says, I do hope we've put enough stamps on. And as far as I can tell, every stamp is unique. So let's take the first look. There's some paper on top. And when we remove that, we can see a lot of items. There's a key, some boxes, and I think another t-shirt. And there's even like stamps on the inside of the box. I'm going to start with the key. So again, I feel like we've got a little bit of a smaller key, but what I believe they added is a little hole at the top. I don't believe the other ones had that. Um, and it's probably so you can display them better because I feel like a lot of people don't know what to do with these keys, even though they're a cool item. I think this is Arthur's key to the Ministry of Magic. I feel like that is what it's supposed to be. The two M's at the top, a scale, and then at the bottom it says M of M A, Ministry of Magic. Oh. <laughs> It had to happen. I had to drop something. Is it my favorite key from the Wizarding Trunk? No, it's definitely not my favorite. I do like the thought behind it, but I kind of prefer the key that we got in the potions class box. On to the next. These are cards. Oh, are these like Molly's recipe cards? I think it is. Recipe, orange squash drink. And then the instructions are on the back and the ingredients at the front. We've got sausage rolls, shepherd's pie, cauliflower cheese, mashed potatoes. Ooh, and treacle tarts. So these little carts, I can actually put them in my Weasley's family recipe book because I have one. Let me grab it. And I think I got this in one of the literary crate boxes. I mean, it's perfect to add these little cards 
in the recipe book because there's nothing in there at the moment. I use them. Next up, we have got a t-shirt and this one is from the Norwegian Dragon Sanctuary. So are we getting one item for each of the Weasleys? Because that would be amazing. So is this supposed to represent Charlie Weasley maybe? We've got a small print at the front that says Norwegian Dragon Sanctuary and has a cool dragon. And then at the back, again, we've got a larger print. Says the same, but it's a little bit of a different print because now we have multiple dragons and some mountains. These are some good dragons. Well, that reminds me a little bit of The Hobbit. I quite like it. I think I prefer this one maybe over the Potions class t-shirt. Let's go for one of the boxes because there are a lot of boxes. It says Garden in Transit, Lost Home. Mortal Peril Work School? Hold on. Is this, is this the clock? The family clock? It's something inspired by the clock. What is it? What is, shut up. Is it? Did they? It is a mini replica of the Weasley's clock. I'm going to be honest, this is not the best replica as in the paintwork is not the best. There's a lot of glue still on there. Also, it's not the exact same colors. Maybe it is book accurate. Don't know about that. I like it. I like the idea behind it. I appreciate it so, so much that they tried to make a replica of the Weasley's clock. That is not something any box, I believe, has done before. I mean, we've got the alarm clock from Lidjoy which I do really, really like. But this is an actual clock. So that is really, really fun. And it's definitely going on my shelves. Then there's this fun, colorful box and it says Magical Pets from Withershins, which is to represent Fred and George Weasley shop. I feel like there's a pick me puff in here and guess what I bought at Universal. <laughs> yes, I adopted a pick me puff. And yes, there's footage of that. But apparently it came with a little brother or sister. Because here you go, another little pygmy puff. Wow, this is, this is bright. Like this is, this is bright pink. I mean, it's cute, it's cute. Um, but seeing as I have just adopted one, this is probably not something I'm going to hang on to and it will probably be something I'm going to give away to maybe one of my nieces. I'm also not like a huge fan of the little face that they put on there. It reminds me a bit of a little monkey. Then again, they're not saying it's a pick me buff. They're saying it's a magical pet. I mean, look at those eyes. It is pretty darn cute. But for me, it's a no. Oh, what have we got here? Is this a key to a car? Yes, it is. And it is the key to the Ford Anglia. I like that they went with the light blue colors. And I believe there's also Arthur Weasley in the key because there's a little head. Or maybe it's wrong. I don't know. And it's a key ring. You can put it on your keychain. So that's, that's pretty fun because it looks like an actual car key. But it isn't. We have got some paper items. So first up is one of our pages for the Magical Creatures A to Z. We have got the letter G. On the one side it has gnomes and on the other side ghoul. I really like these. I think they're just fun to read. Um, I have to be honest, I never do read them because I just don't have the time. But I feel like one day I'm going to like sit down and read all the stuff that I have on Harry Potter because I just feel like it's so interesting to learn all about it and then just do my owls or something or my newts or whatever. Then we have got this green folder and it says confidential. So this is from St. Mungo's. I'm pretty sure this was made by Wizardry Workshop. There is a file that is confidential. Wow. And it has a lot of text on there. Oh, it's for, for Bill. It's for Bill. So it's the intake the healer's observation and then also the discharge notice. I'm definitely going to read this. And we've got two prints in this box. So this one I really, really like because it has this really orange glow to it, this really warm feeling and it is 
like the sitting nook of the Weasleys. A really, really beautiful print. I really like this style, kind of cartoonish, realistic. I don't know if that is a name for it, but I like it. And we've got another print. This one is definitely not my favorite, but I, I do see why people would really like this. So it's cute. We've got like the green garden, the path to it, and then the building itself. Let's go for the next item. We already got recipes, so I'm excited to see what this is. It says Kitchen Witch Magical Recipes for All Occasions. I love these colors and the design on there. This is really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. So we've got like vegetables on the inside of the box. And then there's even something on here that says compliments of the kitchen with chef Ramona Gordon invites you to try her many favorite recipes, one of which will be found in every package of Kitchen Witch Cake Flour. Look for the recipe title stamped on the package. Oh, how cute is that? So we've got like our own recipe cards, which are the same as the recipe cards that we already got. So we can actually put them in here. Oh, and they've added like these cute little cards. So beverages, appetizers, and entrees. My heart, my heart. That is so magical. I love it. This is so gonna go in my kitchen. And then we have got a pin. I think this is like head boy or, oh, okay. That's pretty funny. So this is to represent Percy Weasley. He became Hat Boy. Then his brothers called him Big Hat Boy. I do not know when you would ever pin this on your clothes or something. And I do love like the shimmery red and the gold. That's a that's a funny funny pin. And I think we are down to the final item. So that is this box. And I believe this is the one that made the box heavy. So let's see what it is. Okay, that looks interesting. There's a bottle and then there's something that reminds me of the shawl that Fred and George got from Molly. Let me let me first open up the bottle because I'm intrigued. Okay, so this is probably just two separate items to represent Fred and George. So this one is Bruise Remover. I really like this. It reminds me of the other potion bottle that we got, which was a dream potion, I believe. A daydream potion. And it looks like that. So that's really cool. They kept the same style. There's a little W charm on there, the orange wax seal, and then a really funny label. And it's purple with shimmers. What's not to love? And that is so fun. It's not the most practical to have gloves without fingers but then again it, it looks it looks so cozy it looks so cozy i like it i like the colors it reminds me of the weasleys it looks like good quality great item for the upcoming winter and with that we are going to the beautiful spoiler card this is uh, I think all the stamps that are on the box. And then at the back, everyone's favorite wizarding family. We got a total of 12 items versus the 13 items in the potions class box. And let's see if I missed anything. So apparently we missed something on the print. So on this one, you can see the items that are in the box. Um, see if you can spot them, it says. So indeed, I see the the gloves or the mittens, um, the pygmy puff, the clock, and the magical recipes box, so that's cute. And then on this one, you can apparently see some gnomes. All right, they're right there. You can see two of them, like in the back of the garden. And the pygmy puff, so the cutest creature alive, apparently you could have gotten a different color. So let me know which color did you get. Favorite item and least favorite item. Okay, my least favorite item, probably the key. I like the idea behind it that you've got like a key to your car and a key to work. I just don't really like the design. There's nothing special going on. And then my favorite item is, is this. This is so unique. I love the colors. I love the design. I love that they already gave us some recipes. That's just really, really cool. So yeah, so who won? Is it the Curly Special Edition, our favorite magical family, or is it the Potions class 
box. Drum roll, please. Even though it was a close call because these boxes were both very, very good. I like the originality, the design, the amount of items, the quality of the items. But for me, the Magical Family didn't win. It's the Potions Class box. I just thought that every item in this box was just so much fun. There's an insane amount of detail to everything. I just love potions. And I feel like I'm going to use all of the items from this box. I just feel like this one was a little bit better. So yeah, for me, the potions class box won. I'm interested to hear your pain as well. So leave it in the comment. Which box won? Is it our favorite magical family or is it potions class? And that was it for today's video. It is so much fun to be back. I love spending time in my magical room, but as I said, there are other videos coming up. So hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss those upcoming Universal and Disney videos. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch. Yeah.